All right, time now for five things to get you ready for your day. We're working to get some more information this morning about an incident on the Androscoggin River. Main game wardens and emergency crews were at the river in the town of Thompson late last night. Right now, we're not sure exactly what kind of incident they were dealing with. Emergency crews were there, though, late into the night. We'll certainly update you online and on air as soon as we find out what is going on. The man from Northfield found guilty of killing three people will be sentenced today. In June, a jury found Thomas Bonfanti guilty of murder for the deaths of Sean Curry, Samuel Powers and Jennifer Bryant Flynn. They were shot and killed in February of 2020. He also injured a fourth person who survived. Bonfanti says he shot two people by accident and two in self-defense. Prosecutors are asking for a life sentence. The Portland Police Department is actively recruiting for both police officers and dispatchers. This coming Monday, they will hold an in-person hiring event right here behind me at the Portland Police Headquarters. They're offering a $10,000 bonus incentive with a five-year commitment. For those interested, there will be a hiring event on Monday, and there will be here dispatchers and officers, and both will be able to answer any questions and talk to people about the job opportunities. If you want to learn more about the hiring events, you can go to our New Center Main website and mobile app a little later this morning. In our nation's capital today, the Justice Department will unseal a redacted version of the document that did allow the FBI to search former President Trump's home. The FBI found 11 sets of classified documents at the former president's Florida house. The former president and his allies would like the whole affidavit made public. But the judge felt that some of the information in the affidavit, affidavit needed to be withheld because it identified witnesses as well as law enforcement officials. And Governor Mills and Secretary of State Shenna Bellows are set to celebrate Women's Equality Day a little later this morning. According to a representative for Mills, the two are planning to unveil a women's suffrage marker at the State House in Augusta. It's part of the Maine Suffrage Centennial Trail, a series of markers celebrating when women got the right to vote in Maine. Both Mills and Bellow are the first women to take on their respective roles in Maine government. The ceremony is set to start at 9 this morning. Real quick, there's your seven day forecast. Once we get rid of today's showers and storms, the weekend looks very nice. The humidity drops through the day tomorrow, gets sunnier and sunnier. Sunday's the weekend pick up near 80, lots of sun. Uh, uh, Making my plans already. Goldie? I'm a fire at all. There it is. Enjoy your Here national dog day, everybody. <laughs> there, it is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs>